start the show with some big boy toys, a self-balancing electric scooter, and Zulu was the lucky guy who got to test it out. With the festive season around the corner, this trendy little gadget is sure to be a popular item on many Christmas wish lists. The dual wheel self-balancing board has been making the rounds on social media with sports stars and celebrities posting videos of themselves riding these futuristic light boards. These self-balancing scooters can weigh up to 10 kilograms and are usually powered by two 350 watt motors. The electric scooter can reach speeds of up to 10 kilometers an hour and can accommodate a maximum weight of 100 kilograms. They usually operate on a rechargeable battery and some are even Bluetooth enabled and equipped with speakers making it possible to make and receive hands-free phone calls or play music while cruising on the device. This model from Hoverboard can go 10 to 15 kilometers on a single charge. It takes about three hours to charge one of these babies and it can go up an incline of about 15 degrees. Well, with all that said and done, let's go test out this baby. So how it works is that it uses your weight. Leaning forwards will cause the board to move forward and leaning backwards will cause the board to move backwards, of course, on a flat surface. If I was still in varsity, using one of these bad boys to get to lectures would have definitely been the way. But for now, I'll just use it to go about my shopping. It may look easy, but the first time getting onto one of these boards was pretty difficult. But once you've got the hang of it, it's pretty much smooth sailing. More and more manufacturers seem to be jumping on the bandwagon of making these little toys. They are becoming increasingly popular with students using them to get across campus, security guards doing their rounds with them in shopping malls and airports, and even doctors hopping on them to move from point A to B in some hospitals. The self-balancing electric scooter is a fun little gadget to have, but at anything between 4,000 and 16,000 Rand, it is a bit pricey. For example, the hoverboard retails for 6,200 Rand. I would say it's best suited for someone using it for a specific purpose. For example, a filmmaker looking to get those action shots. But for ordinary recreational purposes, I would say a good old scooter still does the job, while causing less of a dent in your wallet, of course.